Please watch the video in high quality. In this video, we will create a C-sharp that add and scale map to real-world measurement, zoom and pan to the mouse position, and orbit the map using mouse and keyboard input. It displays the loading map text while the map is loading, like so. So here we could orbit it around, pan the map, and zoom in and out into it. To use the Mapbox ABI, we need to create an account if you don't have, so click on, I'll leave the link in the description to this website, and click sign up in the Mapbox. And once you sign out, enter your credentials and create an account. After logging in to the Mapbox account, uh, go to create a token if you don't have one, and add a name to the token, anything you would like and then uh, go down and select create token and then a new token will be created. Uh, copy that token and we will need to add it, uh, paste it later to make a request to the uh, Mapbox API. I'll start by creating loading map text, right click and then UI and then text mesh pro and import text mesh pro essentials. Then I will rename the uh, game object to text uh, underscore map loading. And we'll go to um, keep its anchor and pivot to the middle as it is. And then just change the X and Y to zero positions and the width I'll change it to 300. Then for the text, I'll have it as loading map with the three dots. And then I'm just gonna change, keep its color to white and change it to its transparent transparency, sorry, to around 175. I'll just zoom to it to see how it's look like. Okay, and then I'll just uh, do its alignment to be in the middle vertically and horizontally. That's good. And I will change is its status to invisible. Next, uh, I will create uh, an empty game object. Create empty, we'll call it focal point. And I will drag the main camera to be, uh, I'll just make sure it's, its position uh, reset to zero, all of it, okay. And then I'll drag the main camera to be child of the focal point and select the main camera, just change its rotation to on the X to 90, on the Y to 180, so that we look down at the plane in, in a kind of top view. We'll change the Z position to zero and the Y to something like 20. And then uh, instead of the projection, instead of perspective, I'll change that to, to orthographic. And uh, the, uh, the, instead of clear uh, uh, flags, uh, for, for, instead of the sky box, I'll select solid color. And for the color, I'll select something grayish. And then uh, the last thing within the camera, I'll change the near from 0.3 to minus thousand. So we have a space when we're orbiting the map. Next, I'll create a, a plane game object. That's 3D object under a plane. And we'll keep it uh, keep its settings as default. So the position will just reset that to be zero on everything. Okay, the next step, I'll create uh, scripts. Uh, uh, so under the assets, I'll create an, an, a new folder. We'll call it scripts. And inside that, we'll create uh, two scripts. We'll start with one. So create C sharp script and we'll call it map control. And once the script is created, I will drag it into the uh, playing uh, game object. I'll just drag it here and select the playing game object to make sure 
that it is uh, here. So and I will double click on the uh, file to open it in Visual Studio. The script file contains the following code and the description below contains a GitHub link to the full code that you can download and use. There will be a link in the description to a longer version of this video that goes into more details. Save the script and go back to Unity Editor. And now in the editor, because we assigned the script to the plane, we select the plane to see the public variables we need. So this is the access token. I'll need to, oh, and you will need to copy the access token that we created from your Mapbox account earlier and paste it here. So I'm just gonna do that now. So I've added or pasted my access token here and these you could change the center of longitude and latitude to the area you're after. You could copy these values from Google Maps or any other uh, or Mapbox or any other uh, platform you, you, you have access to. And then uh, it needs the loading text and which would be we just created here under the canvas text map loading. So I'll just drag this here and save. And now we could create the uh, other script to control the uh, zoom and an orbit. So right click in the script folder and create C sharp and we'll call it camera control. And after the script is created, I will drag it into the focal point, which is the parent of our main camera. So I'll drag the script into the focal point and click on the focal point to make sure the script is there. And then double click on it to open it in Visual Studio. The script file contains the following code and the description below contains a GitHub link to the full code that you can download and use. Save the script and go back to Unity Editor. Now, if I click play, the map is loading. I'll just change the aspect to full HD. And if I zoom out, the map is loading and it's zooming out correctly. And I could, uh, Orbit. I'm using the mouse scroll to zoom out and in and shift and middle mouse to uh, orbit around the uh, map and also uh, I could pan using the middle mouse and again zoom in and out on uh, and the, both the zoom in and out and the pan would follow the uh, mouse position as you could see but uh, that's just the way I like the the UI to uh, what I like to trigger I mean the mouse buttons and the keyboard to trigger my orbit and zoom in and out and the pan but if you would like something else to trigger these functions you could just change the input here to whatever uh, you like so that's it thank you please like subscribe and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this